it seems like I'm losing about two to three miles per gallon in cold weather. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. Thanks for joining me this morning. It is a cool Monday morning. It's about 56 degrees right now. It was about 47 or 48 when I left the house this morning. And this is probably, uh, some of you are going to ask about the flashing light on the dash. I've had people ask me that before. And that is the TPMS light. Because when the bike gets really cold, sometimes the tires uh, get underneath the, uh, or under the minimum air pressure required. So uh, they will warm up here in a minute and that light probably will go off here before too long pretty common problem I probably do need to put a little more air in that rear tire but anyway it's uh, a nice morning it's not windy at all not much traffic and this is the probably the fifth or sixth time now that I've used this uh, pin lock shield on my uh, visor and uh, I think overall I like it uh, for cold weather I, I've got my visor closed this morning because it's kind of cool out and it does keep the uh, face shield from fogging up. Now some of you, or one of you mentioned, uh, you saw some fogging around the edge of my face shield uh, on the first day that I used this, and that's because that's where the pinlock shield does not cover. It doesn't cover that space. So around the edges there might be some fogging uh, just because your breath you know, has a lot of humidity in it. So, but that doesn't affect my visibility. I can still see uh, through the pin lock just fine. I've had a few of you ask me in the past about uh, what kind of gas mileage I'm getting on this 2018 Goldwing. And I keep pretty good records of gas mileage. I have an app on my phone that I use uh, every time I fill up with gas and it tracks my mileage for each tank fill and I would say it's pretty accurate I think it's probably more accurate than the computer on the dash it, when it says I'm getting 43 or 44 I'm usually getting about 41 miles per gallon but I went back and looked at my app and I could see that over the life of the motorcycle which is about a little over 14,000 miles, about 14,300 and some miles. I'm averaging about 41 and three quarters mile per gallon. Now I went back and looked at the app for my 2012 Goldwing and it was about 37.8 miles per gallon on the average. So I think it's pretty fair to say, and I, I ride similar to what I did on the uh, 2012, so, you know, I do pretty much the same thing every day on my motorcycle. Now, I did take more long trips on the 2012. I haven't taken as many uh, long trips on the 2018 yet, but if anything, that should help the average, not hurt it. So. I'm pretty comfortable with the fact that this motorcycle does get better fuel mileage than my 2012 Goldwing did. And the 2012 Goldwing got better mileage than my 2007, or at least I felt like it did. Now one thing I have noticed, and I'm anxious to hear from you folks what kind of mileage you get, average mileage, if you track it. Put it in the comments down below. Now there's one thing I have noticed on this motorcycle and I can't explain it. Maybe you can explain it. It seems like I'm losing about two to three miles per gallon in cold weather. 
when the weather starts getting cold I would have thought it'd be just the opposite but when the weather starts getting cold the the mileage seems to suffer and I don't know if that's because of the temperature or because of the different fuel blends in the winter but I noticed last spring when it started getting warm temperatures my fuel mileage started going uh, you know anywhere from 39 to 40 per tank you know miles per gallon on a tank full up to maybe 40 40 43 to 45 miles per gallon so seems like I get about two to three miles per gallon less in the cold weather and do you experience that I don't remember that on the 2012 I just I don't recall uh, having that experience but anyway one of the things that I think the big advantage of this 2018 Goldwing is the fuel economy because I think it does get better mileage than the older Goldwing. Of course, it's lighter. Uh, it now has 24 valves. Maybe that has something to do with it. But uh, in the DCT transmission, of course, it may be different. Your experience may be different if you have a manual transmission. I do ride in econ mode most of the time when I'm riding around town uh, doesn't econ mode doesn't really give you much benefit if you're on the highway but if you're in stop and go traffic like I am most of the time uh, it does seem to help a little bit so I'm anxious to hear your mileage experiences in the comments down below I also have um, I, I think you know a couple of videos ago I uh, talked about the Kimimoto gloves, which I'm not wearing today because it's not that cold out today. It's actually 58 degrees now, so it's really not that cold. I did wear them this morning on the way to coffee, but uh, on the way home it warmed up a little bit, so I'm not wearing them right now. But nevertheless, a lot of you really responded to those uh, to that 15% off offer and apparently order the gloves. So if you have the Kimimoto gloves, I'm anxious to hear uh, what you think of them in the comments down below. And they also sent me a pair of sunglasses to try out. Now, I don't normally wear sunglasses when I'm riding because I have my, uh, you know, my shaded shield that flips down from the helmet. So they sent me these sunglasses to try and they're kind of cool in the sense that they have like a little rubber gasket that kind of fits around your eyes and they also have interchangeable lenses and they sent I think you get four pair of lenses with the sunglasses and they're different style lenses you know you've got the reflective lenses and the, just the various uh, color lenses plus it comes with a little neck strap and uh, you know, a sunglass holder and a really nice little case that everything comes in. And they're uh, very inexpensive. I think they're under $15 for these sunglasses. And I tried them uh, not on the motorcycle. I just tried wearing them, you know, just out driving my car. And uh, the lenses are, are a little small. I prefer a larger lens, but some people like the smaller lens, and they're really made, they're really designed more to wear like when you're, you know, wearing a helmet or something like that. So for those of you that wear sunglasses, you don't have a shaded visor on your helmet, um, you might want to check out these Kimimoto sunglasses. Uh, they are offering you a 10% discount through the 21st of November. Just use the uh, coupon code CRUISEMANG. I'll put the links in the description down below and I'll put it up on the screen for you. <clears throat> so that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't know much about it other than I did try them on. Uh, I felt like the lenses were a little small for me, but like I say, Ricky likes smaller lenses. Some people like smaller lenses. And they... Uh, like I say, I have all the different interchangeable stuff. Another quick piece of news, I have ordered a GoPro 8, Hero 8 Black. Hope to have it in soon. Um, I may be selling 
uh, one or more of my other GoPros if anybody's interested out there if you do motor vlogs I know I'll be selling this Hero 4 Silver which has been a super camera I mean I have used this thing it has just been my go-to reliable camera it's never failed me uh, that's the one that I'm doing the audio on right now I think it does excellent audio it does good video and uh, I'll probably be selling that and I'll tell you more about that later I may even be selling my Hero 7 Black which has also been a great camera I'm gonna wait until the Hero 8 comes in and if I'm happy with the Hero 8 I may order a second one and just replace the 7 not because it's any better than the 7 for what I do but I just don't want two different interfaces to keep up with you know they have slightly different menu systems and everything and I I just rather have two cameras that are identical so I don't have to remember how to set up two different cameras so I know I'll be selling the Hero 4 Silver and I may be selling the Hero Black which is only a few couple of months two three months old so if you have any interest in that drop me an email or put me in the comments down below and I'll let you know when and if those become available um, last few days I think we only have three days left on the October promotion for the 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos check those out at my website cruisemansgarage.com prices go up November 1st new videos coming out on November 1st also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and take a second to click that little subscribe button down below and I will see you next time on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.